all right here's our next job here got the new mini out uh, we ain't used it in a while but uh, anyhow we're gonna replace the septic system here that pipe stand up we just put that there that's on the inlet line coming into this great big huge homemade tank this tank is 10 by 10 and uh, off the end of it there is just a hole dug with some old tile um, so anyhow so they're uh, the uh, health department here they're having us uh, obviously abandon all this uh, we're gonna put in a new septic tanks and a lift station and they're having us pump up the hill here and uh, back behind well it's questionable we don't really know if we're gonna need that lift station because it is kind of flat but uh, we may need it so that's what Mike he's just shooting the, everything out to see if we're gonna need it or not um, but they want us to uh, come back here and put in some leech lines and uh, so that's what it looks like we're gonna do so so I'll give video as we go along with the project first step of the septic here is that uh, for the lift station we need power so we have concrete driveway and sidewalk so uh, it's real sandy soil so what we did was take this steel pipe right here and uh, just shoved it underneath this driveway we made a hole and then we took this small bar hit it underneath that side over there that sidewalk and was able to shove our conduit then the whole way through so we didn't have to cut no concrete uh, seems like a lot of work but it really isn't compared to by the time we would have cut the concrete and tore it up and then re and you know this is a lot easier and then you know that size it right you know that uh, steel pipe only is about the same size maybe a hair bigger than that conduit pipe so it uh, you don't have no big voids so what dad's doing now is he's gonna uh, clear the snow off because uh, Right now here in Ohio, it's it's cold. Today's not bad. Today I think it's in the you know high 20s maybe. Uh, but for the next couple of weeks, uh, well Wednesday next week's gonna be negative seven uh, as a, you know as our low temps at a high of like 12. Um, and next I think tomorrow's a high of 20 and a low of 10. Um, pretty much we're not getting nothing above 20 degrees for the next couple of weeks. But anyhow, so he's taking that snow off because that snow insulates the ground. It's not frozen now. So that way for next week, um, when we get the crane truck in here to set these tanks, we should have some frozen ground on Tuesday to set these tanks so we can back that crane truck right in here and not have, a, have to worry about getting stuck. So anyhow, so that's what he's doing right now. So yeah, we're back on this septic here. It's been ongoing for a while because uh, the weather has not been the best. Uh, last week we had two days of temperatures that... Uh, uh, well, Wednesday was the coldest. It was, I think the actual temp was negative, I think negative 10 or 11 or something like that. But then with the wind, the wind chill effect, it was supposed to be like negative 30. Uh, so obviously we weren't working. Um, but uh, you can see we got a little bit of frost. He's been peeling the frost off and piling it here. I mean, that's probably uh, that one piece there. I mean, that's a good, probably eight inches thick or better. And really that kind of came from just two days but um, so anyhow so we're back on it we got four of the leech lines in last week though we got two more to put in um, but we're just digging a tank hole because it's supposed to get warm uh, it's gonna start raining here in another day or so and it's being in the 50s and so we still got some frost in this ground so we're gonna get that crane truck in this morning to set this tank and uh, so yeah, so that's it. So I'll get a video here as uh, as we go along. All right, uh, we're back here uh, today. We are uh, we got a hammer here today. We're gonna cave this old tank in. The lid on it's like a foot thick or better. Uh, we did put the new tanks in uh, yesterday. Uh, we got the 1,500 gallon septic tank, and then we have a 500 gallon uh, lift station. Uh, this trench here is going to be for our electric lines uh, running this lift station. This is uh, going to be the pump line ditch. Um, we're running a two inch pump line and you always want to make sure you run a sleeve uh, from the tank out to the original ground across your overdig uh, so the pump line don't settle. Um, 
Mike, he's working on setting the box up here. Uh, we already put the last two li lines in, so there's a total of six leech lines. Um, he's just working on setting that. Looks like he's hooking the first one up. So that will run all the leech lines there. Our pump line will come into the end of it there. So I mean, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'll get a, I guess get a video here when we get done. Uh, Mike's got all the pipes here hooked up. As you can see, they go to each line. And from this box, we'll put a 90 degree bend in there that slips over to ends to block one off at a time. We got the, the pump line all put in. And uh, so dad, he's just getting ready to backfill some of this pump line. And uh, we're gonna cross over here and we're gonna put that hammer on and uh, go ahead and fill that tank in. So, so yeah, you can see here where across that fill we have that schedule 40 pipe and uh, we used a uh, Fernco there. The schedule 40 is just a sleeve. And obviously, the two inch pump line comes clear into the lift station here. So, but there we go. So Dad, he's been working on closing everything. Uh, he's getting there pretty close. Um, Mike and I, we just went ahead and we set the pump down in here. Um, get on this side so you can see. So this side here, this is uh, going up to the leech lines. Uh, this side here is dropping down to the pump. Um, and this is just a union here. Um, on this great piece of conduit going down, that's called a float tree. That's where the uh, floats are on. Uh, there's a green alarm one. I don't know if you can see it or not. There we go. Uh, that's the uh, alarm. The gray one is going to be the on-off on the pump. Um, I believe this is this might be time dose panel. I'm not 100% sure yet. Mike, uh, he, he'll know that. But uh, so that's it. We got the electric running up through there, and no, it's not in conduit. Um, but it is going underneath the driveway over there. Um, so that's pretty much it. So we did go to put the hammer on just to realize, I didn't think about it, uh, the auxiliaries on the 45 are just plugged. They don't have fittings on it. So we can't hook up to the hammer. So the dealership just came out to see uh, what they were gonna need for which fittings. Um, so he'll be back later today here with the right fittings so we can use the hammer. So. All right, well, that's pretty much it. I'll get an ending video. Here's the finished product. You can see it's a mud mess, but that's right there's where the tank's at. Um, but it didn't level up too bad. Um, that's where the old tank was right there where we were hammering. Um, but, I mean, that's about all you can do with mud. It's just kind of use the bucket and kind of smear around to level her up and make her look about as good as you can so so it didn't level up too bad I just got finished leveling up right where I'm sitting I'm right out by the road and uh, do that and then uh, we'll load her up and uh, I guess call her good I guess so all right well I'll see you on the next one